Alright, yo, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new Boku no Roblox review video. So in this video, we have of course a brand new quirk and we have right now a different suit, a different kind of avatar since this quirk perfectly matches, I don't know, for some reason perfectly matches this avatar and... I can't wait to show you guys this quirk, but of course, before I show you guys this quirk, you may already have a clue because of the gauntlets for some reason. I'm wearing it right now, I forgot to remove it. But yeah, before we start this review video, I would like you guys to comment down below any of your suggestions on what quirk should I try of any quirk that you guys want me to make a video on. If you guys want me to make another video about explosion, if you guys want me to make another video about all for one or any other type of quirk, like I don't know, Deco one for all. It's up to you guys leave a comment down below of what quirk do you guys want to see here in this channel it can be a common quirk uncommon rare quirk or even legendary and i'm planning to make a tomorrow all for one video since that's the only legendary quirk that i haven't made a video on well technically it's not a legendary quirk since it's a mythical quirk but i don't want to be resetting my fame since you know i have 1.9 million fame right now in boku no roblox and that's gonna be a waste of money and it's gonna be a waste of effort since it's already about to hit 2 million. That's why I don't want to be, you know, resetting my fame. And maybe if this video gets 100 likes, then maybe I'll make a video about Tomura All for One. And I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm gonna use my friend's account. Maybe I can try to ask my friend for help in, you know, uh, reviewing Tomura All for One. Because, you know, my friend is actually a villain. And he has Tomura All for One before. And I remember he reset his fame just for that quirk. And yeah. If this video gets 100 likes, I might do a Tomura All for One video only if this video gets 100 likes. But anyways, let's start the showcase, shall we? Alright, so let's start. So the quirk I have right now is of course my favorite quirk and honestly this quirk is I think one of the best rare quirks in the game. Not only in raids, also in farming and also in aesthetic wise. That's also one of the reasons why I changed my avatar into this kind of waiter thingy and I think you may already know what this quirk is since because you know of the gadgets and this quirk is actually cremation and yes this quirk is my favorite quirk because not only because of the effects because of also the skills and i'm gonna explain to you guys why this quirk is honestly one of the best rare quirks for raids and in farming and yeah let's begin the showcase so the first skill of course actually outmatches most of the rare quirks other rare quirks uh, first skill since some of the rare quirks first skill is honestly just you know some random range skill but this one is also a range skill but not only is just a range skill it's also quite big in aoe so it's really good and i don't know why this nomo died for some reason oh all right there we go so i'm gonna show you guys this skill is quite good is really really good for raids i think but i can't wait to show you guys the other moves of this quirk since this quirk is really really good all right anyways the first skill is just you know some random q uh random range skill which does a decent amount of damage not the best but not also the worst which is really good for a rare quirk first skill of rare quirk and not bad <laughs> all right so that's the first skill just a random fire blast which does an aoe damage really big aoe damage and it's also range skill which is good for raids to clear like you know tons of villains and the z skill the next skill is actually a flamethrower if you guys uses if you guys use a uh, half a half cold you guys may know the flamethrower from the fireside in half a half cold and it's quite similar to this one but i'm not quite sure which flamethrower is the best is it half a half cold or cremation we did the 1v1 before with my friend where i can only use the fireside of uh half a half cold and he has cremation and i think half a half cold wins that one i think yeah since cremation is not quite good in pvps in my opinion since you know there's no there's not much range quirks like you cannot throw that much abilities into uh the your opponent because this quirk is kind of like aoe based near you and literally the only range moves are this one the q which is quite hard to hit 
if you're doing pvps and the z skill which honestly this move does a lot of damage but only if you're like near your enemy but if you're not continuing to hit the enemy with that one then it does no damage at all like it only does yeah 2k damage see but this one the z skill is really really good for raids for clearing a lot of enemies in raids so this is one of the reasons why i recommend this quirk for raids as well and the next skill the next few skills are actually the best part about this quirk and why this quirk is honestly my favorite the x skill this one is a burst damage it does i think a lot of damage to npcs and it's really really good for raids and it also has some kind of i don't know mobility i'm not sure if it makes your avatar dash but like if you use the x skill boom you bounce it's like you're gonna dive which is really really cool not only the animation is really really cool but the skill itself so like let me do it one more time all right boom see it's really really big the aoe is really really big which is really good for raids or clearing a lot of enemies and like you know hitting the opponent or the boss with it so the next skill is one of the best moves here in cremation and i think is a lot better than the v skill the last skill so the next skill is this sort of crown thingy which is really really good as well it does burst damage not only it does burst damage it also does continuous damage which i experimented a while ago since I was not quite sure if the C skill does continuous damage but I did an experiment a while ago and if you use the C skill not only it does burst damage it also does continuous damage it does 8000 if you stay inside the fire thingy so the next skill is the V skill which I think is bugged because you know the C skill this explains why the C skill is honestly better than the V skill because the V skill I don't know it's it's good for a rare quirk but i think they can revamp the v skill of cremation but like i'm not sure why if you use the v skill it only does 400 damage i know there's a lot but like i think it would be better if it's like around 2000 damage because you know it's the last skill of course it's gonna be the best move and i'm not sure why it only does that amount of damage and honestly i think they should revamp this quirk like they should revamp a little bit of you know moves since you know this quirk is getting quite old i think honestly if this quirk had a lot more range moves and the v skill wasn't this the one that makes your avatar move and it only does 400 damage the one where your avatar doesn't move and it only does 400 damage per tick honestly i think this quirk could compete with legendary quirks there are some quirks here in boku no roblox that can compete with legendary quirks such as gigantification which is just a common quirk there is also manifest which is just a rare quirk next one i think that can compete with legendaries maybe legendaries but also rare quirks is health flame which might be shocking i made a video about that one you guys can watch some of my older videos and of course there is also orcanus which honestly in my opinion that quirk is really really good for raids and pvp as well and i think orcanus outmatches cremation to be honest but like cremation is one of those few quirks that looks really really cool on your avatar aesthetic wise and it's really really good for raids that's why this is one of my favorite quirks honestly and that explains why the c skill is better than the v skill it does 8000 damage and this one only does i don't know to nomos it only does i can't see yeah it does no damage at all oh my god all right so that explains why this quirk in my opinion is one of the best rare quirks in the game and it's one of my favorite quirks and for a bonus and for a bonus thing here in cremation is it has a gadget which i showed you guys a while ago and i'm not sure how much it costs but the gadget uh gives you increased damage for your movesets in cremation which is really really good and i hope they buff the moveset of cremation to be honest because i think this quirk really needs a buff since you know dobby in the anime and in the manga has been really really strong lately i can kind of see him uh grow into a, a stronger villain to be honest and i don't want to spoil people in the manga i've been catching up with the manga lately and dobby has been really really cool but yeah hopefully this quirk gets a revamp in project v2 when the game comes out and yeah that's going to be it for this video guys let me know down below what you guys think about cremation being one of the best rare quirks in alt gamer xd's opinion that's going to be it thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys won't miss a video and that's going to be it thank you guys for watching stay alti and peace out